I hope that you guys are doing amazing. Let's go ahead and jump into your sidebar, LOL. All right, let's get it. Sidebar, LOL, Holy Spirit for the collective. What is the message? For this sidebar, LOL. Y'all, are y'all staying hydrated out there? It's been hot. Okay, so I hope you guys are staying hydrated. Even if you got off your, you know, routine, get back on it. Start to hydrate, okay? Get back connected with water. You may need to visit a large body of water if possible. That could be very beneficial for you guys at this time as well, okay? Also, for those of you guys that have stopped meditating, y'all, what are you waiting for? Okay, get back to your meditation routine. All right. Welcome in. Any new subscribers that are in here? Any Leos that are in here? Happy birthday, Leos. We got higher power coming through. This is God energy. Okay. Are you are you emanating or radiating God energy? Christ consciousness? Okay. What's going on here? Hmm. Thank you for clear and precise messages, angels and ancestors. Heavenly Father, thank you for clear messages for your people. Let me turn this down because this is the highest that my phone will go. So I just checked the volume just to double check. So I'm going to turn this down so that maybe y'all can hear me a little better. Higher power. Sidebar LOL. Father God, what's the message on today? Oh, okay. I'm seeing a ray of sunshine. But I heard clarity and truth, okay? Things are clearing. Things are clearing up or being cleared up. Cleaned up. We got soulmates. Things could be clearing up between you and a soulmate. Or things are becoming clear. A truth about you and a soulmate. Receiving some form of justice would to be fair. Okay, you and a soulmate. Things could be clearing up on your behalf or being cleared up on your behalf. Y'all could be doing some clearing work. You guys could be in the physical, taking care of some business that y'all need to take care of. Um, or this could be in the spiritual world or spiritual avenue, okay? Where it's like things are being cleared up spiritually for you guys, all right? Clarity, truth, sunshine. So it's giving me Leo energy. Um, y'all, tomorrow we are going to be having the Leo's Lions, Leo, the <laughs> Lions Gate 888 portal, Okay. So I hope you guys are ready. Oh, blessed. Blessed. All right. This one didn't flip over. All right. Let's see. It didn't flip over. Let me get what's only going to be on the bottom of the deck here. Spit. The bottom of the deck to the C. Okay. Oops. Okay. They dropped that and it showed happy, happy. Are y'all wanting me to clarify four of these today? Is that what it is? Because multiple cards. Okay. Y'all, we're going to take to the C here. When this card came out, I was I was about to say that somebody's not happy about the fact that this clarity is coming for you and a soulmate. Or that you guys have blessings on the way. Or that things are, or that God is, God is clearing things up for you. Okay. Somebody's not happy about that. Okay. But overall energy of this read is happy, happy. I feel like, but you should be, or you are. Okay, Spirit says, why? Why do you think that is? Thinker is here. Why do you think y'all are receiving this healing? And some are not. Why do you think that? Why do you think you guys are about to be receiving peace? And some people are, are not. Do y'all know that? Do y'all know the answer? Hmm, I know the answer, but do y'all know that answer? Have you guys looked at it that way? Have you... Have you looked at it like, mm, you know what? Page of Wands, the high priestess. Have you looked at it and thought that? Like, dang, why am I so blessed? What have I done that God is making a way for me? I feel like God needs y'all to look at that. Notice that. Take note of that, okay? Because there's a reason for it, all right? I feel like everybody, you're going to come to a conclusion that's going to be different from the next person's conclusion. Your, your reason is not going to be the same as the next person. It may be similar, but I don't think it's going to be the exact same. But 
Spirit wants me to wanted me to pose that question to you all. So let's see. Higher power. Sidebar. LOL. Clarify this higher power. God, what is going on here? Could it be the reason that all this is happening for you is because you have been emanating a higher power? Because you have been taking the high road? Because you have been choosing to turn the other cheek? Because your responses and your reactions have been graceful? Is that why? Hmm? For somebody it is. Clarify here. The page of cups. Okay. Now, okay. Spirit is telling me to tell y'all what I heard this morning when I woke up. When I woke up this morning, there's two things that I saw. One, well, one thing I saw and then something else that I heard. Okay. So this thing that I saw is y'all need to watch the old sitcom called, um, I think it's called ALF. ALF, A-L-F. Okay. That's one thing. They showed me that. It was like, if you about it, get up on it. So I was like, okay. I woke up watching it, okay? Um, I didn't realize that the little Alf character, he was an alien, right? So someone could view you as an alien. For some of you, this is your why. This is why things are going well for you is because you're an alien, okay? Um, in the highest form, right? And an alien is just an unidentified um, um, being, right? Y'all, there's a gnat in here. Oh, uh, uh. Okay. So anyway, um, and the the thing that I heard Spirit speak to me, he said, unimaginable. He said something's gonna be unimaginable. And then the other word that I got for unimaginable, unimaginable, was like something's gonna it's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. And it's gonna be unbelievable. Like you're not gonna believe what's about to happen. Okay, I'm hearing Ripley's believe it or not. I feel like spirit is like, believe it or not, though. Do you know what I'm saying? Because that's the vibe of Ripley's. Like, you wouldn't believe some things, but then you see that it, it is true. It can be so. It has happened. And you're like, <laughs> right? So it's like something's going to be um, unbelievable. Um, and it's going to be unimaginable. So something's about to happen. I'm hearing there's, ooh, I just heard that so clear. There is a shift that's going to be taking place. Okay? There is a shift that is going to be taking place. Speak to me, Holy Spirit. I hear you. All right, let's clarify this higher power. What's going on here, Heavenly Father? We got the Page of Cups. So that Page of Cups is speaking to me about that un unimaginable thing or that something that's unbelievable. This could even be coming through as a surprise. I'm hearing suddenly, suddenly something's about to shift. Okay, suddenly God is bringing in a shift. Ooh, this shift could be um, affecting an earth sign. Or this shift could have to do with some form of um, material wealth, abundance, okay? We have the star card, all right? I feel like this is going to be coming in towards you, Chosen, towards you, towards an Aquarius. An Aquarius could be significant or just someone holding this energy. This could definitely be Venus energy, okay? soulmates okay so we have something unexpected in other words that's going to be occurring that's the message and it's going to be occurring with the page of wands for these soulmates okay see there's two people that are facing the same direction there's two people that are on the same page same path going in the same direction here and there's an energy that is headed towards you and this energy is a blessed energy Okay, if y'all can see this, how I'm seeing it, I have these two, right? One fell under the higher power, which is the page of cups. And the other one, the page of wands fell underneath the soulmates. Well, they're both looking at this energy that is coming towards them. So you could sense or feel on an intuitive level, you feel something happening. Okay, you could sense it. Your body could be giving you signs that something's about to occur, something big. You could not have an idea, a clue of what it is because I feel like it's something that's unimaginable, right? It's something you can't imagine, okay? I don't know what this is, y'all, but it's something unique about this read. I'm telling you that right now because of the way them cards came out. Usually, y'all know we only pulled three cards for the sidebar LOL, and we use the bottom of the confirmation with that horn, and we use the bottom of the deck as the overall energy. But today, Spirit gave us an extra card. It says, to the seat. 
So there's more here. There's more to a story. There's more to a situation. There's more to come. Something's gaining momentum, gaining size. Okay. Soulmates, page of wands. There's some form of uh, uh, like a spark or something new, something creative, something worth investing in. Cert something, I, okay, certainty almost came out of my mouth. And then what I was trying to say was something that you want to happen. This is like good news, okay? This is positive communication. A lot could be going on with your crown chakra. You could be gaining some form of enlightenment here. Sidebar, LOL, Holy Spirit, can you please clarify for me? What, what is this soulmate energy? What is this soulmate energy? The magician. There's something about a manifestation that's coming through. Okay, some form of a manifestation or something magical that's about to occur. Okay, something magical. My nose is itching. I feel like it's definitely magical. The king of cups is here. It's like, it's spiritually magical. This is something that is, this is like, what is this? <laughs> The king of pentacles, the king of cups. This could be some type of spiritual abundance or spiritual wealth. Okay. What is this blessed energy? What is this blessed energy? You could be feeling very blessed at this time. The seven of wands, okay? Y'all have overcome some form of a challenge here. Or you stood up and defended, you defeated or defended yourself against a challenge. The ace of wands, and now you guys are being given this blessing, this new start. I'm hearing this fresh anointing. Something, y'all, I don't know what this is exactly. Somebody here, you've been manifesting some type of wealth for yourself. And you're about to get it. You could already know what this is. Or intuitively, y'all, tap in and pay attention to your emotions. See how the energy feels. Use your other senses to, to feel this energy out, okay? To sniff this energy out. Something about your clairs. Yeah, the ace of swords. You may not be able to see this coming with your third eye, but I feel like you're, you can sense it. You can feel what this energy is. You can probably describe it based off of how it makes you feel, right? So I'm being told to tell you, y'all know that things fall apart before, right before they come together. So right, right before there's, the color white is significant. Right before there's a breakthrough, okay, things will we'll feel like they're at a disarray okay hold on sorry i'll be right back okay y'all <laughs> sorry about that Woo. okay so anyway yes to the sea let's clarify to the sea <laughs> the five of swords yeah this is somebody so this to the sea card i told you when it came out i was saying that somebody's not happy about the direction of your, the way things are going for you and what's coming in for you in your life, okay? They're not happy about that, okay? Um, someone could be sulking. Um, they're they not going where you're going. These blessings are, are... Somebody here is losing some blessings. Like they've lost blessings because this blessing card is butted up back to back with this energy. This energy is going in another direction. Let me show y'all what I mean. Hold on. But it, it, the five of swords is what's clarifying it. So this is someone who sabotaged or tried to backstab um, or betray you in some type of way. So these blessings which are headed towards you, you and your partner are looking at these coming in. This is what y'all have to look forward to, right? And then you have this energy that is soaking. Their head is down. They're looking sad. Y'all, this card that got stuck to my arm. The emperor is significant. It could be an Aries. doesn't have to be. Okay, this could be a somebody's masculine or ex-masculine, okay? 
Um, but anyway, this energy here to the sea. Okay, so they're not too happy about this. And like I said, they could be losing because these blessings are like going on in the opposite direction of them. Or they're receiving the opposite of blessings. Okay, the five of swords is here though. So like I said, this is somebody who tried to sabotage or betray you. Excuse me, confirmation. That's not happy about these changes that are taking place in your life. This is someone you have defeated. This is someone you stood up against. This is someone or something that you, or it's a spirit, an energy or an entity that you've overcome. Someone could be getting a new job, some type of new financial blessing, okay, or income, new, new money. You could be opening up another stream of income for yourself. Like you could be somebody, you could be starting a business because since we saw that emperor card, that could be someone that's starting maybe to branch out or create a new business, okay? The ace of pentacles, the four of wands. And this person that's to the sea, this person, they was trying to stop this from happening for you. They did not want you to be uh, uh, stable. They didn't want you to receive these opportunities, the four of wands, ace of pentacles, the four of wands. So they didn't want you, the four of wands talks about stability. For somebody here, someone didn't want you to go into a union, okay? Um, but it's like somebody with the ace of pentacles, they didn't want you to have this new start. They didn't want you to receive these new opportunities. They didn't want you to get this abundance that's coming towards you and your person. You could know exactly who this person is. You could be very intuitive, very enlightened, very in tune, okay? Very aware, spiritually aware, evolved, awoken, all right? I know y'all are because y'all spiritually rich AF over here. I know, babies. I know. I know. Y'all don't got to tell me. I know. I already know. What are these cards that want to be seen? Yeah, the King of uh, Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Y'all are solid. I'm getting like a rock, okay? <laughs> you guys are solid as a rock here, all right? Someone didn't want this for you. They didn't want your family. You, they, somebody didn't want, they wanted you to feel insecure. They wanted you to feel insecure beauty-wise, okay? They wanted you to feel like you weren't worthy, okay? Or like you weren't beautiful, Somebody wanted you to um, to feel financially insecure. They wanted you to be broke, okay? How they say broke, busted, and disgusted. Somebody wanted you to, yeah, this devil. The five of pentacles. Um, didn't I just say? They don't want you. They wanted you to be in lack. The ace of cups, the devil. This, whoever this is, they got a weird energy because it's like they... They're giving obsessed vibes. Someone's obsessed with you and they could have given off this. This could be an ex. Someone could be giving off an energy like if I can't have you, nobody can. If you're not going to be with me, then you're not going to have nothing. Okay. Somebody could have wished this upon you. I don't know why I just got drawn to the energy of Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, the King of Swords. This could be someone's ex-husband or this is someone you divorced, male or female. Okay, you put some distance in between you and this devil, you and this demon. Okay, but I got that vibe off of um the color purple, right? So when Whippy says, um, till you do right by me, everything you touch gonna fail. Somebody was praying that prayer over you, except for you hadn't done no wrong to him in the first place. Y'all know what I'm saying? So somebody was was trying to make it to where everything you touched failed. <laughs> That's funny. At the bottom of the deck, y'all, the high priestess. The high priestess. You work for God. Yeah, you can expect the unexpected. So, suddenly, some, someone's being blocked here. Whoever this knight of swords is, it could be an air sign that's being blocked from your energy or just something that someone was wishing, that prayer that they was trying to put, till you do right by me, everything you touch gonna fail. That, somebody, a spell is being blocked. Okay, someone's spell is being blocked and whoever had or a, a hand in it with the three of pentacles, whoever worked on this, whatever this spell was, maybe it wasn't that spell, but it had that idea, right? Oh, my nose is itching. 
whoever had that type of um, energy or intent towards you and your partner, the lovers, with the two of cups, okay, either of you, because I feel like it could have been a, a, a yo ex and their ex, they could have been wishing death upon y'all or wishing that things would fall, fail or fall apart, right? There could be two people that was wishing this on you guys. But the vibe that I'm getting here with the three of pentacles is anybody that worked on that or had that intent or had that heart or had that thought or mind towards you and your person, whether it was their ex and family or your ex and family, okay, they've been blocked out. That spell with the knight of swords can't reach you. Okay, that's been blocked. All right. It's like unexpectedly, the high priestess. Their secrets being revealed to you. Oh, their secrets. So I know that we did a reading and I was telling you guys that the secret of the enemies were being revealed to you this time. Time has transcended some form of an illusion. I feel like the illusion that them speaking out or wishing that over you would work. Time has, has bust this illusion, okay? Yeah, family influence. I said family for a reason. This could be someone's friends or family members that don't like you, okay? All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can I have the short and sweet for this sidebar, LOL, please? Spell work. <laughs> These folks, stay, don't, don't they get tired? Don't they get tired? So spell work is out here. Forgiveness is needed is in the reverse. But this is someone who, who wasn't trying to forgive you. Okay. I feel like whoever this person is with this spell work shit, they need to, they need to find for a piece of forgiveness. These people are blocking the flow of their own blessings, having an unforgiving heart towards you. I don't know what they, what, I feel like this is the crazy part. I feel like you haven't even done anything to these people, but I feel like they're so resentful and so hateful within their own self. And they really are, it's, they should be directing it at themselves, right? But instead they want to hold this resentment in their heart towards you that's pushing them to do this spell work, but it's due to their own inadequacy and feelings of inadequacy. Someone feels inadequate. Okay, relocation. Okay, someone you could be getting ready to relocate or someone involved is getting ready to relocate. You have a warrior spirit here. Okay, so this is someone, this has all been the story, the theme for these last few short and sweets and sidebar LOLs have been that someone's realized too late who you are, that you're a warrior um, and that they shouldn't have been playing in your energy or playing on your top. Okay, and now that they know, you know, they they experience in some form of karma and here you are re receiving these uh it says expect a reward fortune or gift okay and we seeing this gift come in for you you see it your partner sees it you guys could already be hearing tell of it right getting news of it right y'all got angels surrounding you as well okay Y'all, this has been your sidebar, LOL. I don't know what I'm going to title this yet, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for hitting that like button. And my loves, I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.